hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video i am going to guide you how to be a certified design engineer right so as you can see i have very beautiful car over here which is designed in a solidworks and i have created a mesh model for it yeah so to design some products or cars or whatever you want to design you have to recognize as a design engineer right so for that recognitions what you need you need certificates right nowadays every industry asking for a certificates uh, right so to validate your skills only so to get those certifications from Dassault system how you can get that and how you will be a certified design engineer like at expert level right so how you will define yourself that that is also I'm going to tell you now I will start from a very big uh, beginning like if you are a beginner to get the certificates uh, what are the levels uh, you should take right what are the certification uh, you have to buy and get it as soon as possible right to boost your career so I am going to take you through some uh, exams which I have searched on whenever you uh, go on the Google you just type SOLIDWORKS certification exam right so SOLIDWORKS certification program uh, you will get this tab over here and there are lots of uh, design and engineering these are the uh, these are some exams which can give you the certificates now as a beginner you will get confused what I should take right I should take associate first professional first or whatever uh, subcategories are also there so I will take you to a basic need needed uh, certification for to be a expert design engineer right so uh, this all certification you don't need right now I will start with the first basic so we have total three levels over here first is a CSWA then CSWP and CSWE right so what does it mean A means associate level certified SOLIDWORKS associate level exam second one is a certified SOLIDWORKS professional level exam and the last one is CSWE which is a certified SOLIDWORKS expert in mechanical design right so there are three uh, levels are there for to be a design engineer or uh, expert design engineer I will start with the A. There are some prerequisites uh, to get the CSWA certification as well. So I will take you to uh, that as well after CSWP. So let's get uh, started with the CSWA. If you search the CSWA, you will get this kind of a tab over here. You can just click it and yeah. So here you will get all the details. Like if you want to take the exam uh, as a sample, uh, what type of exam uh, it can be so and these are some uh, training courses are there what what you need for the training this is the exam length and this is these are some minimum passing grades I will take you to the my certifications as well and now this is about the exam what from if you search uh, this one exam guide and practice uh, test CSWA you will get this PDF very easily no no problem at all so these are some contents you can go through and how to sign up for the exam uh, the process will be there right so basically the fees of this program if I take this exam let's say yeah so it is around 10k INR for the Indian and it includes the 18 percent of GST so sometimes if you purchase in a bulk it will be get reduced by uh, around 4,000 right so if you have I had many coupons for so that uh, 
I got these exams in very less price, right? So if you have context, you can just uh, take the benefit of that, right? So here, uh, this way you can check your prices as well. Now, if you see after signing up, there is a procedure which you can uh, go through. And these are some uh, test questions. Uh, like there will be MCQs, there will be a part design as well. So you have to give the equation to the parts, modify the parts and accordingly you have to give the mask from options or you have to write down your uh, what uh, mass properties, the uh, center of gravity position. So these are some uh, basic uh, part design exercise. And after that, there will be one assembly exercise where you have to find the CG, right? So all the information will be there. The uh, uh, the CAD models or three uh, 3D models will will be provided during the exam. So you can download them, and yes, you can just uh, go to one paper. Now, after clearing the CSW A exam, there will be CSW P, right? So P means professional level, one level up, then associate level, right? So if you click it on the uh, CSWP, there will be a sample exam of CSWP as well. So for CSWP, you have to learn the advanced part modeling, advanced assembly, right? The weldments, sheet metal, surfacing, everything. When, when I uh, took the exam, there were no segments. I just cleared that exam in a one go. Now it is getting uh, in the three segments, which is first is a 70 minutes, uh, second one is a 50 minutes and third one is a 80 minutes. So the all segments are separate. So you can go through the topics, which topics uh, to be covered in a first segment, second topics, uh, uh, like segment two topics, segment three topics. Accordingly, you can practice yourself and give the exam, right? So these are some additional features you have to learn than the associate exam. So if I take this exam, so there will be something like this. There are some three levels are there. So total cost will be my 21,000, right? If I add uh, this one, so if I clear this, close without change, remove, okay. So my total cost will be around 10,000 uh, for the professional exam. Now, you cannot give CSWE after giving the CSWP. There are some prerequisites, just like a uh, weldments, any four you have to clear, any four segments. Uh, just like if I go to the uh, CSWP exam, CSWP, let's say sheet metal. Now, if you go to the sheet metal exam, so there will be CSWPA. So this type of exam, you have to uh, give around four, like a sheet metal, surfacing, drawing tools, and the weldments. Any four you have to give. There are total of five or six. Uh, I couldn't remember right now, but I will take you to the my certificates as well. So you can uh, see that. After getting this uh, four additional certification, you will receive an certificate which is telling that you are now eligible for CSWE. Just like that, if I search virtual tester, where you can access your uh, exam, your certification, everything, you just have to sign up in that and you will get your, okay, I will take, take you to the home. I have already logged in, so that's why it was telling the certification. So there are three category certifications are there. First one is a SOLIDWORKS, second one is a CATIA, and third one is a 3D experience. 3D experience is very uh, new for now because, uh, yeah, it is a, an online pro, uh, software and this can be uh, offline. These two are offline. Now, if I go to the SOLIDWORKS certification, so the same page you will get uh, that certificate, okay? Now I will take you through my certificates. Let's say my account, yeah. So step by step I will go. How do I, uh, what are the levels? So first level, 
let's say I will, I will zoom it over here. Yeah. So if I click on the associate uh, level exam, right? I have cleared first one. Second one, I have created the professional mechanical design, right? Which is in uh, issued in 18. And then I have given the associate in sustainability. And then I have cleared CSWPA uh, five exams. Total five exams are there. And any four you have to give for the CSW E prerequisites as well. So you can give the CSW E after completing the CSW PA, which is an advance of professional, right? So I have cleared first one, weldment. Second one is a drawing tools. Third one is a surfacing, fourth one is a sheet metal, and fifth is a uh, mold making. So total five I have cleared. This is a separate associate, associate in the simulation. So this is separate, you don't count right now. So as a design engineer, I have to clear all this and then I'll be able to give the CSWA exam. For now, I have not given the CSWA exam. So if you uh, see, meet the prerequisites of CSWE, CSWP mechanical and at least for advanced exam, which is a CSWPA, right? So this type of uh, certificate you will get to give the CSWE exam, right? So this is how you can uh, access your uh, certificates, your exam and all. Now, if you click your exams, there will, there are marks are there right so you can go through uh, your exams your marks everything so yeah now i will go to the uh, just wait i want to show you something now if you are a certified you can just go through like if i want to see how much uh, people have completed the CAW exam. So if you click over here, there are 5,26,531, right? So this is the number of overall. Then if I go to the CAWP, there are 2,25,000 and then CAWP is a very less, which is a 7,399, right? So this is how you can check. And also if I want to check my portfolio, what you have to do, in, I will just type in India. Now it will show all the guys in. So if I want to create a, okay. Then I will, I will show you my certification, which is a Bhavik, 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 Bhavik. I have to search. So as you can see, I have given the exam. My uh, first one is a SOLIDWORKS uh, professional, which is a CAWP. Then additional five exams are there. And another one star is there, right? For advanced drawing tools, this is an weldment, mold making, professional, surfacing, and sheet metal. So this, I have five certification. I have, uh, link to my account of uh, LinkedIn and YouTube as well. So that's how you can check if you are a certified globally or not. So uh, to start with the CSWA is a very good option for a beginner and also uh, in industry you will get a recognition and also a career growth will be good after getting your certification because you are upskilling yourself, right? So yeah. This is all for the video and uh, I am giving give the best of luck and if you need any help from my side in designing or uh, about the certification or about the career of a design engineer or a simulation engineer, you can just ping me in the comments or you can just DM us on Instagram on the page DP Design Solutions. Uh, yes, that's all for the video and thank you so much for uh, hearing me throughout the video.
if you like the video please keep sharing keep learning and yeah we'll meet again sure bye